What's going on, Selectors? Welcome back to Select Them All. I'm your host, Jacob, and today we're going to do something a little different. We've never done this channel before. I'm going to do a room tour. So I'm going to break this video into multiple parts. We're going to start in my closet. Now, usually closets aren't really a peak of your toy collection or what you have. It's usually where you put your junk or things that is storage. My room is kind of that in here, but I also have this really nice display shelf. And I have all these pops up and down the wall. And behind me, I have some of my bullet plug and minifigures. So I think we're going to start with this shelf. Um, the next couple videos, I'm going to do like part two, part three. I'll start, I'll go outside my room, do my outside shelves. So that'll be pretty cool. Now, there's some really cool stuff in here, but I assure you some of the best stuff is outside. So before we get into looking at this, usually how I display my collectibles, and I have a lot of different collectibles, as you will see from this little inkling of my room, I usually put more modern and more popular Lego and Mega and more display stuff outside, stuff that I enjoy more. This is more my before it retires. I said this is like it's retirement home. Um, usually after I get sick of a set or I run out of room, I'd take older sets apart or sets I don't like, move them into bags and keep them with their instructions in a Ziploc bag. So I think we're going to start up on the top of this shelf. So up here, we're starting off with a bang. We got our Castle Grey Skull. Up top, there's a Killer Croc. Um, up here, we have from the OK Corral in, let's see, Tombstone. I have a lot of more sentimental kind of things like this in here more than outside my room but this is still really cool um it's Wyatt Earp and Doc Holiday. moving down we have a lot more random stuff we got Baze and Shuret the Lego buildable figures this came with one of the Lego dictionaries it's just a little like space like Benny's space shuttle um a Dr. Pepper Dress Up World Dominion some Pez dispensers some miscellaneous figs I'm kind of just gonna run down this you can take a look at what you please we have some mystery minis Brickhead, a PlayStation 2 with NBA Street Volume 2, and then some little shark minis. So this is just kind of a uh, jumble of different things. Obviously, Castle Dry Stroll is pretty awesome. It would not fit on my primary Masters of the Universe shelf, so I will get to that in the next video. Um, that's outside. Down here is my Mega Constructs Halo shelf. I have a lot more Mega Constructs Halo than this. Most of it is in a bin and the figures are bagged up. Um, this is mostly my favorite sets. So I'll take, give you a run in here. We have some sealed stuff in the back. Those big box sets, those aren't sealed. Those are just the boxes from the actual sets. The hero is sealed and the blind bag up there is sealed. Just a quick rundown. We got lots of sets and figures. Some of my favorites. Up on top, this is kind of hard to see, but we do have most of my Halo heroes. Some blind badge series completed. And the blind badge series. Now I'm missing the Wasp build that is in the blind bag. Um, as you can probably tell, it's pretty dark. So I would like to eventually purchase some lights to put up in the corners of each of these shelves to make it a little easier to display or to see what I'm displaying, not believe on all the time, but just if I'm ever looking at it or showing anybody it, I just turn it on. It makes it better. I might do a video if I ever get those. Potentially, that might not happen for a while though. So moving down, we have a random Legos, Lego, I guess Lego, yeah, mostly Lego. We have Chain She Set, Mandalorian ATST, some What If, and Marvel Mech, my favorite Marvel Mech. The final first battle pack, the infamous item itself, and we have a couple of the 20th anniversary of LEGO. Yeah, these are the 20th. We have Darth Vader, Han, and Leia. In the back here, we have the special edition Nintendo Switch collector, LEGO the Star Wars, the Star Wars Saga. Pretty awesome game. This came with Blue Milk Luke. And then this is the, I don't, oh, I don't have the game. My uncle or my cousin gave me this. Haven't had the game for this before but he gave me this he had a couple of them i think pretty cool don't really know what it is it's just like kind of a metal plaque i don't really call it metal it's more just shiny um it's pretty cool down here is mostly marvel i have all the eternal sets i 
actually really liked the movie. I know a lot of people didn't, but I thought it was pretty good. Behind that, we have the... Sorry, the light's pretty bad. We have the Infinity War... Or, I guess, the Endgame Final Battle. And then we have the big dragon from Shang-Chi. I really like that set. It's pretty interesting. And then down here, we get to the darkest shelf, which is kind of random stuff, but there's some cool stuff down here. So... This is a toy line called Final Faction, which a lot of people don't know about, and it's actually a kind of a hidden gem. I'm going to do some reviews of this. In fact, I'm going to record those right after I get done with this. It's a Dollar Tree toy line, which some people are like, oh, it's Dollar Tree. I'm just going to cut it off right now. No, it's actually a really cool toy line. All the figures are three and three quarter inch. They're five points for articulation. This is most, this is every single figure released to date. Pretty interesting figures is a comic book they released. Uh, the accessories, there's lots of accessories, packs that came separately. I have those in a box. But yeah, I'm going to do some reviews with some of the accessory packs after I record, or after I get done recording this. We have a fake buildable General Grievous. The set is real, but I mean, there's an actual set of this. So this is a fake model. Still really cool. We have the minions. And then we have my vintage Lego collection. I don't know why it's down here. I need to get it up on a higher shelf. Hyudra's Roar, love that figure. We yeah, have not sealed, but the Lego System, Star Wars, what is it? Uh, Naboo Swamp set, a lot of these little shell promos, and then the little Darth Vader set. This was from 2002 or one, I forget. These actually have a funny story. I found these for retail at a flea market, which I thought was awesome. They're pretty cool. So that is the main shelf of my closet. And it's a pretty nice shelf. I like some of these shelves more than others. Again, this is more for stuff that's in its retiring stage. I'm about to enter into the bags or just some of the stuff I just keep in here all times, like Final Faction down there, I keep forever. Uh, the Halo shelf, I keep forever. Um, let's go ahead and move into the Pops. So I'm just gonna do a rundown of the Pops. I have a lot. We have the Bad Batch 5 pack, a lot of random Pops. I have most, uh, I have a lot of Scooby-Doo, some Gremlins, most of the Lord of the Rings pops. There's some hidden behind there, nothing too special though. And then over here, run down this. A couple of these are not really characters I care too much about, like Black Hand or Zombie Modoc. It was like Hot Topic, they had like a 3 for 10 deal and that was one I wanted and I was just like, I'd rather just get two free ones and then maybe one day they'll be worth something or just bulk up my collection. We have some 10 inches. The Kramer, behind that we have Turbo Man, which I'm not taking that out of the box, I might one day. We have the Lord of the Rings Pop Ride, and then this is interesting. It is a Jailhouse Rock Elvis figure, found that at a flea market. Of course, around the line we have our Marvel Battle World collection, another Funko product, little miniatures for a game. We have a not sealed box, these are not sealed packs, these are empty, they just the bags I had for my set. It's just a box. Then we got some hats, some stuff there. We have Pokemon Battle Academy, a Smaug, which I'm still trying to complete to have that $250 Lego item. And then in here is my grandpa's old G.I. Joe from the 60s, which I thought is really awesome. Over here, here we have all my clothes on the line if you see any hangers. Over here is my Hot Wheels collection. I have a lot of different Hot Wheels. I was trying to run them down. I usually, as you can see, collect more fun colorful interesting ones and more licensed like movies and tv shows lots of batmobiles stuff like that um let's see let's do this on the wall here i kind of i try to put a checklist from every minifigure series i have a figure from on the wall there's a couple missing still that i have in my boxes i'm still trying to find and then down here is my lego bulk figure so these are not in cases these are just straight up right here in these boxes i have them numbered movies and themes some of them aren't give you a rundown kind of how i have them in the boxes is they're all in, in little individual bags so there's like sebulba the infamous captain rex who was cracked unfortunately yeah i'll just give you a rundown maybe i'll go in detail to some of these boxes in the future if you're interested in lego and we have just some boxes of some bulk Legos and sets in there, some Final Faction and Army Men. And that's about it for my closet. Um, 
Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and consider subscribing to become a part of the Collect All True. As always, happy collecting, and I'll see you in the next video, which might be Final Faction or might be a next room tour piece. You never know. See you next time.